Welcome to our exercise program. Today is one of those drastically horrible days that I'm social distancing, I'm wearing two masks, and I have a cold. I don't know how that happens, but it might be because I'm wearing two masks and I'm trying to breathe. <laughs> I was hoping it's because of the weather change or allergies that I didn't know I had or whatever. Anyhow, I'm, t I'm breathing only in my, pretty much my neck. So today we're going to just sit in our chair. We're going to work on uh, rib, rib mobility. We're going to work on lung function. We're going to work a little bit of upper body to just try to stretch us out. I'm feeling like if I'm feeling this way, probably others are as well. I know we've done this before because I was really congested or stuck up here. And so, um, Come join me again. And then hopefully tomorrow I'll be more active, more able to yell again. Come with me. Isn't it frustrating though, that you can't blame or I can't blame somebody else for getting me sick because I'm not even close to my family right now. We're all like staying our distance from each other and this is like my virus because I've always been a germaphobe. So I guess it was just residing in me. Okay, let's start by sitting up tall. Enough of my complaining. Unless the music doesn't. There it goes. Sit up nice and tall, belly and the spine. Knees and ankles are stacked on top of each other. Shoulders are up to the ears, lift them all the way back in and down, and then hold that posture. Place your belly button, try to draw it in towards your stomach, but not so hard that you can't breathe. What we're trying to avoid is the secondary respiratory muscles, pretty much the neck muscles doing all the work. We want to open this area. Now you've got elevator muscles, those are your pelvic floor muscles you should lift those. Those should not cut off your breathing any. Take your toes, we might as well get our feet involved. Lift them, wiggle them around, and then widen them and then place them strategically down on the ground. Lift your, your inner arches so that you're working some of the small muscles in your feet. Sitting up nice and tall, we've got our posture going. Let's just try to breathe here. Let's do some shoulder rolls as we roll. Really tuck that chin in. Now remember, our focus is really going to expand around the chest wall and not take in anything in here. I think uh, through all my years, I always resort faster to neck muscles when I'm running out of air and I probably strain out a muscle. Belly into spine. You can smile at yourself. Make bigger movements. I always just like to go backwards, um, primarily because it's better for the posture. That way you're working your postural muscles, your back muscles. You're trying to break out of, some people have that hump in the back. This will help try to get us out of that posture. And go a little bit bigger. We want to build up some cardio. There's no sense that if I have a sore throat that I can't do that. I just don't want to yell. Good. Let's bring our arms down. And sitting up again. Did you see me slouching? Don't let me slouch. Belly into spine. Let's elongate the spine. We want the natural curve, but not anything but more. And then let's lift that side body as we bring the other side up and over. And we're going to stay here. I'm being lazy. I'm using my arm to hold me up. <laughs> you can do what you want, right? The most important though is not to cramp the side that we're pinching. We don't want that pinching feeling. And to open. And then I am going to think hard. Maybe you can think hard too. See if you can make that area move as you breathe in and out.
that's that perfect opportunity to do the lower tip of your lungs. Your lungs go down all the way to your rib cage, the bottom. It's amazing what our bodies can do. One side has two lobes, one side has three. You, you're in balance because you just, oddly we have a heart in the way too. So keeping our arm there, you don't have to put your arm up if it's bothering you. Let's open up and I'm gonna rest that upper arm over onto my chair. So now I'm trying to fill the breath muscles here and I'm trying to fill a stretch in here. I'm using my arm that was lazy for a while to keep that knee from turning in toward the other. See if you could feel the stretch in your stomach, even though your stomach muscles are tight, but really focus on breathing in and out. This feels really good. Hopefully it's for you too. Maybe my mid body was just tight. It's all that stretching we did a few days ago that my husband suggested, huh? Hey, come back up, regroup with a little, those cat cows, stretch your upper back, kind of arch it, and then round it. Stretch up and round. I'm going to turn sideways just so you see. So we're rounding, and then we're stretching up and through, rounding up and through. So we went this way. So let's set up nice and tall again. Fix your feet. Let's, um, I'm going to prop this arm too. Belly and the spine. Elevator parts lifted. Let's elongate this area. Think about it going tall up and over so that we're not cramping this area. And I'm going to lift my other arm. So nothing unique right now. I'm trying to keep equal weight on both um, buttocks area. And some words are just so uncomfortable. And I'm trying to feel a breath and that's where I'm not feeling it. That's my, that's my accomplice. Oh, now I'm remembering. I was messing around yesterday trying to figure out new exercises and I think now I'm thinking about it I know why this is tight and then magically the day I woke up it's like a highlight of what was happening so if you're feeling a pinching in that area lift higher belly and the spine though lift your inner arches of your feet now we're going to take that side up and over I'm gonna reach back for the chair. So now I'm feeling a side body stretch, a chest opening if I do this properly. And then I'm still gonna focus on trying to get my ribs. I feel like asking, <laughs> this is the problem when you're the only PT in the house. There's no, uh, there's no PTing going on for us. So uh, I'll have to figure out how to fix me. And then, I'm only telling about this because I want tomorrow to be back, back up and normal for us. And I'm excited because maybe I'm not getting sick. Okay, so this, leg, this arm is propping. So I'm gonna add to the twist trying to get more of an opening. And this one's gonna hold that knee from coming in to the other. We're just gonna hold for a second longer. And come on back. And let's do those cow, cow, cows while you round. And then pull your chest through your arms. Round. Pull your chest through. Again, round. Pull your chest through. Last time. And pull your chest through and then come up to straight. Kind of take a, where's your breath coming from? 
So we're going to now put our hands on our waist. Thumbs are touching the back, close to my spine, as much as I can. Where I'm right under or between my hip bones, my, my natural waist, and my rib cage. I'm going to squeeze in, not enough to throw up or cut off the air. But now I want to do is I want to see if I could take a breath in and move my hands. Are you able to accomplish it? The reality is we're below the diaphragm. So we could put our hands up onto our, just our, right at the lower peak of our rib cage to see if we could feel it. But I'd rather not have us bruise or break any ribs. So this is a good biofeedback technique, a very good one because where are you feeling your breath as you try to breathe in and out? So breathing in should expand your hands in the theory and breathing out should bring them closer together. So I'm gonna stare, I'm blankly at myself. Try to do it with me. Where are you feeling it? Use your thought process. I'm like analyzing myself as we go. Yeah, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling it. My mid back, isn't that pathetic? And up in that spot. So are we ready to move up a little with our hands? Why don't we flat hand it now instead of dig in? Let's just palm right on our lower ribs. That's the lowest rib. Come up right below your um, your nipple line and do it again. So bring your slide your your chin back. That's a little bit better. So we're gonna try to go side to side, breathing in. They should expand, breathing out. They should, your hands should come closer. The movement is subtle. Don't expect incredible. Coming with that strategy, we're going to do it for a few more breaths. So I had promised my kids I would double mask anytime I'm working in the bakery, physical therapy, out in the stores. One of my daughters, actually two of my daughters drove to the market today. One stayed in the car because she was not coming in. The other checked on me. Thank goodness, part of me wanted to rip off one of those masks because I was, I thought breathing might be better than two masks, but I didn't because I promised and I'm so grateful. It's the first time she showed up since uh, the very first day that I started the job. Okay, so now let's change our hands. Let's try to go one in front and one in back. Still along the spine for one. I have the back of my hand just because I'm not as flexible. If you could flip your palm, that's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And then one is right below as the ribs climb up. I just have it kind of tucked in there. Let's see now as you breathe in and out, can you expand forward and backwards? We're just going to hold a few breaths. Where are you feeling your breathing? Make sure you don't hyperventilate. Don't breathe at a faster rate or a slower rate. I don't want you dizzy. I don't want you to fall off. I have a lot of patients when I work at the hospital that pass out in the bathroom. So just be careful. Sitting is not always safe. And come back to relax. Let's just do a few more cat cows. Anytime we're doing that, we're working the mobility of our spine, our ribs, and in my thought process, I'm thinking if my ribs are moving, my lungs have to be moving.
Good. And last time, pull through and set up tall. Let's now get our feet again wide, lifting your inner arches. Lift your elevator up, belly button and toward the spine to support it, but not to cut off your air. Shoulders away from your ears, down your back, and then pinned. Keeping this position, let's slide our rib cage to one side and then the other. Keep it nice and subtle. What we're trying to do is keep our shoulders horizontal with the ground, just like we're sliding on a tabletop, and our the weight stays even in our behind on the chair. This is a relatively boring video, but I think it's probably one of my most useful. Actually, I'm very introspective right now. This is what you get when you get a PT. If you, if you were to meet me and you came into a PT office, say it was open, or you, um, you'd get the thoughtful, the thoughtful Stacy. I almost said my wrong name. Huh. Let's now change it to, let's see if we could go forward, stretch forward, and then just back to regular. Forward, back to regular. As I'm thinking forward, I'm thinking lift my chest bone, forward and then up, and back to regular. Make sure though you don't do it with me, don't hold your breath. So I'm gonna make it less move mobility for me because as I was going forward further, I was cutting off my air and I was filling in that one spot. Good, let's stop in four, three, two, and one. So because I have my friends out here in, in YouTube land that like to stretch, and you suffered with me with my breathing, let's get a good hamstring stretch in the back of the thigh, down the calf, the sciatic nerve. So sit toward the edge of your chair. If your chair has the bony prominence, it always attacks my back and my thigh. Bring one leg out, flex your foot towards your head, hold it there. You don't have to straighten your knee. What's more important is that you're able to sit up tall, belly and the spine, lift your elevator parts, and not go into a rounding of your lower spine. If you could lift it, that's great. I'm gonna keep mine a little bent, but I'm pulling my shoulders now over, and then I'm gonna lean forward just a little bit to get that hum of the sciatic nerve going belly into spine, stay shoulders away from your ears. We want to hold it for a while. It's not going to kill us. If it's really bad, back off, right? And come on back up. Bring that leg in. Bring the other leg out to a comfortable position. Uh, flex your foot towards your head. Set up nice and tall, belly into spine. Hold here for a little bit so you feel that stretch. And then when you would like, turn your shoulders so that when you bend down, kind of your knees in between your shoulders. And let's just hold it for a minute. Minutes a long time. <laughs> I, I can't hold it a minute. If I'm not balanced with you guys, please pause it and finish after. And that lets us stop with a nice breath in and breath out. Breath in, expand all the way down here. Breath out. Let's try now. Inhale, lifting your arms and exhale. Inhale up 
and exhale with your arms down. Last time, inhale, exhale, bring your palms together at your heart center. Take a moment to thank your body. Thank you for going through all this effort to allow you to breathe, right? It is amazing what our bodies can do. It's amazing if one part is a little tight, the other parts try to take over. Um, I appreciate you. I appreciate, um, I'm thinking what my body does for me, but I didn't want it to sound creepy weird. So I just put it out there, change it to make it sound better. Thank you very much for allowing me this time with you. From my open heart to yours, namaste.